All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and continue with the description of the properties box. Properties box is located up here in the top right of the Floriani Total Control software. Now, the properties box is where all the settings for any given element, stitch type, are accessed and modified. Uh, absolutely, this is the most powerful panel in the Floriani Embroidery Software Program. You use this panel to view, modify any given stitch type, the stitch length, stitch density, underlay type, uh, set settings, your pull compensations, put push compensations, start and end commands, your tie-in and tie-off stitches, your design size, and the angles that you utilize. Uh, I'm going to take you now through a list of all the tabs um, within the properties box. You'll notice up here initially that uh, when you first bring up uh, a design, you basically just have, it says design, but when you click on any given color or element, it will expand uh, the tabs now in the properties box. Uh, to take it another level, I will go ahead and open up this uh, color within the sequence view. I'll go ahead and click number one on the complex fill. It was the first element within this design. You'll now notice in the first tab we're going to talk about is fill. Uh, the fill tab in uh, uh, this section is used to adjust your fill or your run, manual, satin stitch. Uh, it's the properties of any given element. So you'll see here I'm using a standard fill, the stitch length is 3 millimeter, the density is uh, a 3. Okay, that's a very, very open density. When I click on the satin stitch, you'll see that it now changes. It's a standard satin stitch. It's using a random pattern. Here's the stitch length. Here's your density set at 0.8. All right, so this is where you control your stitch type, um, also your length and your densities and such. The next tab is your underlay tab. Your underlay tab is to adjust the underlay uh, stitch settings for any selected design element. Now, there are certain underlays that work with satin stitches, certain underlays that work with fill stitches. They will highlight, meaning the uh, you'll see here a little difference. This one is not outlined. This one has a little black outline around it. So within this satin stitch, you have the ability to use contour, parallel, center line, and zigzag. When you click on fill, you'll see, and I'll go ahead and click on the complex fill area, go into underlay, you'll see now I have highlighted highlighted the underlays associated with our complex fill stitches. So that's the fill tab. The next tab next to it, fabulous, certainly the underlay, uh, will then move on to the pull push tab. Now this is an amazing area. We did a total major update on our pull and push control. In fact it used to be just pull control. Most pull control works and ours does default to percentages. It's the amount of percentage of overlap you want when one element is next to another element. Uh, but what we updated Floriani software as we now work with absolutes. I will be teaching you all through uh, later videos uh, my measurement theory of embroidery creation. This is what makes the absolute values so important because let's say a fill stitch is next to a satin stitch. What the measurement theory defines is the absolute amount of overlap that takes place. So by setting absolutes, again, it yields total control of any given design or element within a design. And you do have your absolute value which highlights when you've selected absolute. Now, another major update was that most pull or push control, if push is even in uh, uh, any other software, uh, but in Floriani software you now have full control of pull and push, but pull has normally controlled both sides of a satin stitch or a fill stitch. With Floriani software you now have the control of both sides or uh, first side or second side and I will define for you in later videos first side actually is right top uh, second side is left bottom uh, we'll make that much clearer as we go through again this is just an initial explanation of uh, the tabs your push control works in the same manner it's an absolute value that you can control on both sides a first side or a second side the reason why you have this ability now to choose sides, either both or first or second, is uh, many times with a fill stitch, on one given side, we might be sitting next to a running stitch. On the other side, we might be sitting next to a satin stitch or, let's say, another fill stitch. Well, the amount of overlap or, or pull that takes place with a fill next to a running stitch is less, considerably less, than when you put a fill stitch next to a satin stitch. So this ability to input uh, uh, the pull on on either both sides, one side or the other side, is an amazing amount of control, uh, again, which yields total control of any given design element of your entire design. Uh, pull and push work again 
both sides, first side or second side. A wonderful, wonderful level of control with your design and design elements. The next tab is your column tab. You use this to adjust your column settings, your, your types for any selected satin stitch element. Uh, you control your uh, jagged satin stitching here. Uh, again, both sides first or second side and the value in an absolute. Uh, you also have the ability to split your satin stitches here. Uh, you have a percentage or an absolute distance. All right. Uh, the next tab is your general tab. Under your general tab, you use this to modify your connection and you use it to create gradient fills. Uh, you can select auto density. Auto density is selected uh, for variable widths of satin stitching. Let's say we're going from very narrow to a very wide satin stitch. The software will auto adjust density. Uh, as simply as I can put it, the rule basically is the narrower the satin stitch, the lighter the density. The wider the satin stitch, the tighter the density. Uh, the auto density is a wonderful level of control without constantly varying densities as you create that part of the design it will automatically change the density as you get wider it will get tighter as you get narrower it will get lighter uh, there's a few more tabs here we'll scroll over to it the next is the commands tab uh, your command tab is where the, the area used to, to set the start and end commands of a design element uh, when working with text you use this to create trims and color changes as well uh, you don't see it in here now but if I were to utilize text text and you know what I'll go ahead and just put a very simple letter A on here uh, when I now come in here and I jump over to the uh, commands tab you'll now see that in text I can put color changes uh, in between characters words or lines uh, you can also see that I can now set trims uh, between characters words and lines a wonderful level of control actually as you uh, example go into applicate your application settings will be found in the properties box also with your uh, um, chenille tackle twill sequence all of that you do get further commands that will pop up in the properties box as we go through each stitch type I will define that much much clearer for you and the final tab is your transform tab your transform tab is very simply used to resize the design and rotate the design uh, you can do it in percentages or you can just set a size you only need to set either width or height uh, as long as you have maintain aspect ratio uh, it will absolutely uh, uh, affect both width and height uh, you only need one setting you do not need to figure out both sizes you can also again do it by percentages uh, you do have the ability to rotate here um, and you can set it to whatever you want rotate certainly you also have rotate ability up here on your toolbars uh, regenerate stitches is utilized for your um, control uh, of density meaning as you go up in size if we recalculate densities based on size utilizing the auto density feature as you go down in size it will indeed reduce density it is what activates what we call the stitch process within any given design. Uh, that's your properties box. Let's go ahead and move on.